your dreams trying to tell you something? Author M.B. Mosley teaches you how to decode your dreams and take hold of the manifestations that lay in wait for you in the waking realm. Now, broadcasting all over the world, it's the Dream Interpretation Podcast. Are you ready, baby? Are you ready? Are you ready? Is this microphone on? Are you ready? I'm so excited to be here with you, family, my beloved. Let's get into the spiritual sweet spot. Yes, let's jump in here so we can get a cleansing. Let's wash our souls. Oh, I'm so excited. Feel that energy. Feel that water energy. Feel that cleansing water energy. Let's dive deep. Let our souls dive deep into this cleansing. I am so ready. Let's shake the shoulders off. Shake the shoulders. Come on. Loosen them up. Loosen them up. Let's take in a deep breath. Deep breath with me now. Deep breath with me. Wait a minute. Is this microphone on? Let's take in a deep breath with me. One, two, three. Take it in and out. Exhale. Feel that, feel that coming from your gut, feel that coming from your internal higher self. I'm so excited. Now, do me a favor, do me a favor. Roll down that window or pull that window open. We need to flicker some of this energy off. I know I need to uh, get out of here, get out of here. Get some of that energy out. Get some of that energy you do not want on you out. Flick it out. Flick it out that window. Yes, baby. Flick it out. Yep. Close that window. (laughs) Close that window. All right. We are focusing on new energy. New energy. That is our mantra today. New energy, baby. I am so excited to be here with you all. Global audience, thank you so, 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 so much. This is a spiritual sweet spot and we're getting ready to get in here into that center i would say the epicenter of the soul i know i have my florida water let's spray some florida water in the atmosphere do you know they also make sage spray let's get that spray too if you got sage spray i still use the oak all white sage smoke it out but i'm gonna do some florida water in here spray spray let's get some spray refuse infuse let's get that aroma going baby i gotta feel my soul i gotta just feel that feel that energy i gotta let's come on get feel some of this energy right here all right let's get ready are you ready let's get into today's message i'm so excited that you are all here with me today and i'm getting ready All righty, it's your host and author, M.B. Mosley, a.k.a. Memory Bengessa Mosley. You are tuned into the right podcast at the right time and the global audience. Everyone, thank you so much for continually supporting this podcast. I am so humbled. So you guys, I am back. I am back. I miss you guys so much. You know I do. You know I miss you all all the time it's just you know it's 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 a very um refreshing process you know as part of my journey to my true self so today we're going to be talking about you know what Uh uh-uh we're not going to do that how are you all doing let's right let's check on the people let us check on the people mental check how are you doing how's your mind doing how's your heart doing how's your soul doing how are you yes All right, family, today we're talking about finding happiness in dark times. Right. Okay, so uh, (laughs) spirit, spirit was speaking. I was driving and spirit was speaking and I was saying spirit, not now, spirit, not now. Spirit was like right now. And so I wanted to uh, share this message with you. And if it resonates with you, please be sure to let me know. You all can always get a hold of me at askmemory2019 at gmail.com. And so as Spirit laid it on my heart that uh, finding happiness, how do you find happiness in dark, um, dark times or during dark times, we should say, right? And so it's all coming from the moment where I was thinking about, so 
I have to honor this process by being honest with you all, right? Because there's no honor with dishonesty. And so I've, I've been having a hard time, you all. I've been having a hard time. Definitely the grieving process is harsh, grieving the death of my sister. And she was my best friend. And so a lot of things have always been in the background between this and that, right? And so... Um, one of the things, like I said, sometimes it's like a domino effect, right? It just takes one and then everything trickles. And so in the last couple of weeks or so, you all, I've just been feeling immense pain. Uh, I wouldn't wish this pain on anyone, just immense pain uh, with all the events surrounding everything. And then, of course, I've been doing a long work as it pertains to, you know, childhood traumas and so forth and healing the inner child. And that's why this journey to true self is very important for me. Um, and so as I was in the last couple of weeks going through the emotional roller coaster, I found myself going to places I'd never been before emotionally, dark place, mentally. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So today when I was driving, I was just thinking about that part of my life and those, how those emotions were evoked. And then spirit started just speaking. Choose. 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 And I'm like, spirit, choose what? Choose. What, what, what are we choosing? Like, come on, man. What are we choosing? I'm hard-headed too. Spirit has to work a little bit with me, a little bit extra with me. And spirit's just resonating. Choose choose and I'm just like you know what I'm just I'm done I'm tired it's just it really it it, 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 it could take its toll right and so um if you hearken back to some of the podcasts we've had on the show where we talk about creating healthy boundaries um yada 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 all that good stuff right but we also have to understand that creating healthy boundaries as well as um governing ourselves and protecting our peace um our peace bubble right and so Spirit kept saying, choose, choose, choose. And I'm like, this one person, this one person in my whole entire life that's been this biggest negative bubble in my life, how do I deal with that? It's like coming out, it's rearing its ugly head in the midst of all these other raw emotions, trying to deal with my sister's grief. That's a process of its own. I'm going up, I'm going down. And then I'm thinking about this one person. And yes, we've talked about setting healthy boundaries, but sometimes in life you have relationships, right? Certain relationships, whether it be your grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, brother, sister, twin, brother, twin sister, whichever it is, you know they're toxic as all get out. But you keep your distance, you set your healthy boundaries, but that's still your family, right? And so for me, it's just being that part, right? Is that the boundaries are set, the distance is there, and definitely moving forward with boundaries, but my inner child still yearns maternal and paternal love. It still yearns those things it never got. It, it's, it, it's all a working process, guys. It's all a working process. So I'm fighting all these emotions. A little inner child is just like yelling at me like, girl. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm going so dark, so dark in the moment because now I'm like probably, you know, now focusing on this part, which had always been an up and down, up and down in my life. The yearning of an inner child, you know, the inadequacies of of growing up being told you were nothing, you'll never be anything, you'll never amount to anything. Everything is just being so mixed in there and it's so negative. And, and, and it's like I'm caught at this end where I'm feeling immense pain and then I started feeling rage. Then I started feeling anger. Then my mind started going real dark. And then I was like, OMG, sis, this is not what we want. But it's like I was, I was literally just floating in that um, really negative space of thoughts and we got to be careful of thoughts because they manifest right and I didn't want that that was not me that's that, 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 some, that, 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 that that's not me you know and, and so now while I'm in the car just thinking about all this stuff how this person makes me feel and just even the thought process of them the things they have done the pain that has been caused they're the source of these pains these these pains that we're now in adulthood for myself addressing my poor therapist and, we, and I'm just everything is going on in this car and spirit is like uh uh uh, uh. What we're not going to do is dwell on this 95% energy bubble. And I'm like, uh, 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 uh. what we're going to do is dwell on this 95% energy bubble. And spirit is like, okay, listen, then what? And I was like, I don't know. I just want to be angry, mad, and annoyed at this narcissistic person in my life. That's just been, you know, 
And Spirit just said, then what? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, have you ever just wanted to be mad just real quick? Just, I mean, listen, I'm human, right? Just real quick. Like, listen, Spirit, let me do what I got to do. And Spirit is like, no, listen. There's 95% of you that are soaked in these emotions. So Spirit's saying, and I'm like, okay, fine. You have your say, speak away. If you ask me, I just wanted to kind of dwell in that you know but spirit wouldn't let me so it was like there's 95 percent of you that's really raging at this core this person evokes um, negative emotions out of you you don't like how you feel when you even think about this person or the things that have been said recently there was a letter that i was sent that told me that you know i, I i'm i'm unaccomplished just w w letters with words that really could hurt someone's soul and spirit and, and so i'm um, from this narcissistic person in, in my life and so and so you know it's sound those things start to just all Oh, come into the bubble in the mind and spirit said okay then what right and, and so i'm like okay spirit c quit with the then what you know let's let's just let's tackle this y'all this message is for somebody this can, may resonate with somebody listen out listen out spirit was putting me in check i wasn't ready and so spirit said so you want to spend the rest of your life dwelling in the 95 percent of the negative stuff that this person has done to you and put you right in the same category as that person. And I was like, well, I don't want, I would, don't want to ever be like that person. And then Spirit said, okay, well, what about the 5%? Choose. And I'm like, choose what? Choose the 5%. I'm like, okay, what are we doing with this little 5%? I get it. Because literally, I mean, if you ask me, it's 100%. But Spirit is like, we got to give and take. So it's 95%. There's this negative manipulation, betrayal, deceit, lie, narcissistic ways, da 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 all abuses, blah, 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 blah. All of that is over here, 95% of that, right? We're doing the work, y'all. We're doing the work, right? And so Spirit said, okay, so I want you to take 5% of that. With that 5% that you're going to take from that 100%, percent and leave that 95 percent to the left but to the right i want you to take five percent and when you take that five percent i want you to just dig deep down inside that mind of yours and think of a thing a part a time a place that this person may have been in a positive light for you and i was like oh come on spirit you know that's never oh come on it's 100 percent to the left spirit and spirit is like see because spirit knows i'm hard-headed that's me back and forth. Spirit knows I'm hard headed. She, Spirit's like, uh, uh pick 5%. I was like, how about uh, 2%? Spirit said, pick 5%. Work with me here. I said, all right, <laughs> 5%. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to dig deep down, dig deep down, dig deep down. What is it? Okay, okay, let me see. Um, well, you know what? As a child, we traveled a lot. And I love ever since because of that exposure that this person um, exposed me to. I've always been an advent, tra av advent traveler and I love traveling. I love different cultures and meeting new people, new things, new places. That's, that's because of the exposure from this person. And Spirit said, uh-huh, we're on to the right thing. So now hold on to that. I said, okay, I'm holding Spirit. I'm holding. What am I still choosing? And Spirit said, okay, so now remember, take yourself back to those places, your most memorable places in those times that you traveled. My mind went there, Sun City in South Africa, uh, Botswana, you know, uh, uh, that my mind went to those places just to name a few right and because those were some of my most memorable places especially sun city because of the miss universe pageants and i remember that in the back of my mind i was just like so blown away because when i was little i low-key wanted to like do modeling but i'm like the way my leg situation is set up i'm like five three and whatnot but anyways so so spirit is like okay hold on to those thoughts hold on to those thoughts and i'm thinking so now i'm driving and i just got this smile because i'm thinking about these places and spirit said that's what i want you to choose i was like wait going back to south africa sun city or what we where what point and, and spirit said no that's what i want you to hold on to that positive memory when you think about that person and the 95 percent of the list of the things the hurts the pains the traumas uh you know Everything that you think about on this person, this negative energy bubble of your life, this pain body of your life, this pain source, I want you to just dwell on the 5%. And I was like, man, Spirit, see what we're not going to do. Spirit said, I want you to dwell on that 5%. <sighs> Side, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm going to dwell on that 5%. Spirit says, listen carefully. <laughs> oh, Spirit say, listen carefully. Listen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. I said, listening. 
anytime you think about that person, anytime you think of pain, you want to redirect all negative energy to that 5%. 5% may not be a lot, but it runs you long. What you don't want to do is let that person take up real estate in your mind. Y'all don't hear spirit, do you? She said, do not let that person take real estate in your mind. She, she said, allowing that person to take real estate in your mind in a negative light will hold you in place. Oh, I say, spirit, stop. Spirit, I can't take it. Spirit say, nope, you got to hear it. You got to hear it. Not only allowing this person to take real estate in my mind, will it hold me at a 95% less than, <laughs> less than, not more than, but less than, because now I'm floating at the same frequency as this person, right? Especially those thoughts and the way that the, the, the way my mind was working in, in that dark part when, when, when I was thinking about the, the recent episodes and, and, and all this and all this other stuff. So spirit say, no, 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 no. You got to choose that 5% because if you allow that person to set up real estate in your mind, you will be corroded. I'll say, oh, spirit, y'all don't hear spirit. You will be corroded. But I'm like, my spirit, how could, she, how, how could they do this? Spirit said, you're not listening. You're not listening. You are not listening. I say, do you know I'm hard headed spirit? You know that. Hello. Spirit said, I need you to focus on those positives. That 95% will weigh you down, take away from you, chip at you. That real estate in that mind will weigh you down. It'll weigh your shoulders down. It'll weigh your legs down. And when you're weighed down, you're stagnant. You're in one place. You're emotionally handicapped, emotionally bankrupt. I thought we're trying to make progress. I thought we're trying to do this journey to our true self. I thought we're trying to free that little inner child. I, I thought that's what this journey is about. I'm like, ah, oh, come on, spirit. Why are you taking all the fun away from this? And she's like, spirit's like, mm -hmm, my spirit is she. Well, you know, because when you allow somebody that's that negative, that negatively infectious, take up real estate in your mind, not only will it corrode your mind, it'll corrode your soul and your spirit. I said, oh, man, spirit, you know, did y'all hear this? Wait, family, when you allow that individual in your life mm -hmm, to take up real estate in your mind in a negative light, they will emotionally bankrupt you, corrode you. Oh, y'all don't hear that? Oh, man, I said, ah. Spirit had to be here at the nick of time. And so at first I was being stubborn. I said, all right, Spirit, I'm all ears. And so the Spirit said that emotional weight, if you allowed that in your mind, to fester, to sit there, to stew, to, to simmer, hmm? not only will it weigh you down, but when you're weighed down, you're stagnant emotionally, mentally, physically thinking of ways of how to respond to this person, thinking of ways how to deal with this person, thinking of, and then it goes from that to even darker parts. Is that what you want? I said, no, because I didn't like how I was already thinking, you know, about this person when, you know, all this other stuff and said, okay. But beloved, you are to be the light to the world. So now when you're stagnant, weight down, Dwelling on this 95% negativity about this person. Corroding your soul and your spirit in darkness. How, how is it to shine out from you, right? You are called to be the light, beloved. Listen, spirit is talking. You are called to be the light. Now listen, literally, figuratively, same thing. I love people that say same difference. But, you know, same thing, right? Your soul is the light to this world. Going to hearken in, going to grab onto that 95% darkness and letting that anger, that the, 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 the emotions, the provocations of the emotions, the negative emotions um, being evoked out of me, letting that, allowing that to transpire within my soul and spirit will corrode. That's not what I want. I don't want that to take over. Mm -mm. You don't want that to take over you too. Protect your soul, protect your spirit being. Spirit says, then why? Choose 5%. I said, ah, oh, spirit, why? She said, not only is it light, she is, she is I and I, she. 
she's an I is she. Mm -hmm. How about that English? <laughs> How about that? How about that sentence? But it, but listen, spirit say, <laughs> spirit say, and I'm like, spirit, why? I just want to say in anger and madness. No, I'm just kidding. But spirit said, listen, not only are you the light to the world, but taking a hold of that 5% will literally make you, literally and figuratively, same thing, will make you lighter, a lighter person, right? Because if you got, if you put some ankle weights on or you put some, try to put some weights on your shoulder, how long can you hold that? I mean, how, that's uncomfortable. That's uncomfortable, right? Free that. Free that. Open the window. Free yourself. Yes. Yes. Flick it away. Flick it away. Flick it away. Flick that energy away. That big bowl of energy. But perhaps, beloved, for you, it's 10%. Is perhaps for you, 20%. Perhaps it's 50%, 75%, 30%. Whatever percentage you decide to choose on, gravitate to the opposite of that to hold on to the positive parts that you remember of that person. And then, look, if you're trying to be as stubborn as I am, and I'm not saying you're stubborn, but I know I am, but and because I was like, spirit, literally, it's 100%. And spirit's like, nah, sis. We just, look, work with me. Just pick five percent but listen and and i'm just joking about it if you're trying to be stubborn as me but there are some situations right without demeaning and or uh, minimizing your pains but there are some situations where it's 100 percent. like just throw the whole person away please canceled like goodbye you know but because of the relationships perhaps as a grandma or grandfather mother uh, father brother sister because of the relationships you have exercised uh, healthy boundaries you you you, you live in your life there's no communication but the inner child in you still yearns paternal maternal love and or sibling to sibling relationships and or uh, grandfather and uh, grandmother relationships perhaps that's part of you is still in there we still be kids aren't we not and so even in that moment perhaps you're sitting there and you're like girl I can't even find a percentage then that's fine find a percentage in yourself hmm? find a percentage in yourself my grandpa taught me how to make a kite that's cool I learned that I liked it think about the kite find a percentage in yourself find a percentage in yourself and gravitate to that point being is find that positive space find that positive because spirit was warning me that if I because you all it was scary I tell you the things that people that are used, the negative entities, the way they come and manifest themselves to you. Oh, what they say. They tried it, right? They, they, they try. They will try you. It's like, listen, I'm trying to do what I need to do over here. What do you mean in this letter that I'll never amount to anything and that all this other stuff of accusations and craziness and madness? Like, how was one supposed to respond to that emotionally? I mean, I mean, you done chipped and scarred away at my heart a long time ago. Is there anything left? No. But Spirit said because, you know, the, the, she, she reminded me of the scariest part. If I hung on to that 95%, I will go dark internally. I would, re, I, I would grow resentment, bitterness, anger. It morphs to other things, right? It will always morph. Then now I'll probably act out in certain ways. Now they say in the world out of character, right? Out of my soul's, um, soul's well-being. And so now it's like I'm going to be vibrating on her frequency. Now I've just gone down to the gutter bottom with the same person that I'm trying not to even affiliate with. That's what spirit is warning me. If you keep going down this dark path of these dark thoughts, pick the 5% and choose. Choose the part I say, spirit, why you keep saying choose, choose happiness. Pick the 5% and choose happiness. Pick the 50% and choose happiness. Pick the 30% and choose happiness. Choose happiness in that time of darkness. Choose. Think of a time. Uh, perhaps like they, it's 100% for you, but perhaps you all, you, as a family you were driving down the freeway and, and your favorite thing was to pass through Six Flags. I don't know, but you remember the roller coasters as a little kid. Put, take yourself back there. That made you happy perhaps seeing that. Pay, take yourself back there, right? Pick the positive part. Choose. And I said, you know what, Spirit? My bad for being stubborn, you know, being hard-headed. But you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm going to choose. And because it made me smile when I was thinking about the travels and stuff like that, it made me really smile. I was like, oh, yeah. You know, I had a good time. What not? What not? And so I said, you know what, Spirit? I'm going to put a smile on my face. I said, you know what, Spirit? I'm going to choose. Because remember, the power is in your hands. The power of choice is in your hands. 
if you're over 18 and you're taking care of yourself. You know how that goes. But um, <laughs> so I'm going to choose to be happy. Mm -hmm. I say, spirit, I'm going to choose to think of the positive part. Spirit said, you live longer. I said, I know that's right. Because listen, you weigh yourself down with all this negativity and drama that these people to, or that person keeps trying to throw your way. If you're anything like I used to be, I used to internalize my emotions, which is not healthy. So therefore now wondering why I'm having a headache, wondering why this is going to awry internally and what's going on, what's the source of all of this. No, choose happiness and choose to be healthy internally. Defend your soul and your spirit at all costs. Soul and spirit at all costs. Costs. How come I can't speak today? Costs. Right? English is my second language, y'all. But I understand that. Because I was, honestly, I was just terrified of those thoughts. People could take you there. I was. I was terrified of those thoughts. And so I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to choose happiness. I'm going to choose to own my life. Choose to own your life, too. Uh, I'm going to choose to do the work. And continue to do the work. It, despite of the inner child still trying to claw out for that love that they never got. I'm, I'm going to continue to do that work. And, and I feel way much better. It's, 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 it's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. There you go. It really is because then it's like I'm not so like. Because I was. I was drowning in sadness and just um, going through the emotional um, roller coaster there. You know, and, you know, and then when you read more negative things and, you know, and, and your, your mind just goes, harkens back to all the things that have been said about you. And you're still trying to keep a positive path because you're trying to remind yourself that none of that ever manifested, no matter how the person intended to emotionally scar you. But that's the, the that's the thing, family. We want to choose. Right. We don't want to weigh ourselves down, stand in there. We got to do we got to go above. Right. We got to go above that person. We got to go above that person. So we got to choose happiness. And once again, I, I, I want to tell you that I'm not minimizing, demeaning, or uh, even, uh, you know, making light of anyone's situation, right? You are the only person that knows yourself internally. Dig deep, dig deep down into your soul and search your soul and figure out what it is that you may choose to be positive about in this moment. Perhaps you're positive that you're a survivor, that you're strong and you survived because that was 100% trash. That person was 100% trash that was wrong what they did or how that ended up or their energy towards you and you cannot search a percentage. So choose your percentage. You're a survivor. You survived. The home situation could have been chaotic, crazy, dysfunctional, abusive, but you survived. You've made something of yourself. You're somebody. Listen, you're breathing. Should we really go so far? You're breathing. You're breathing. You're breathing. Choose to help other people, perhaps that have walked through the same place. Or if you know, you know, I always say voluntary work is volunteering work is also um, satisfying. But just choose because you don't want them to win your soul and spirit. You don't want to vibrate on that vibration. You don't. You're the light. You have been called into this world to be the light, beloved. You have to shine as the light. And, 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 and don't put any weights or shackles on yourself from this person. And just experience a light life as a light worker. I love you guys so much. Stay blessed. Life is happening right now. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday, but today. Seize the moment to enjoy each day while en route to your intended destiny. A quote by Memory Ben If no one has told you this today, I love you. I appreciate you. And yes, we can do this thing called.